Release the Snyder Cut! Am I having a deja vu right now? Can someone please tell me what's going on? No, no, this is no joke. Apparently because of the bad critic score, Zack Snyder has come out and said that the director's cut is a completely different movie. Right, so here looking at Rotten Tomatoes, and we all know Rotten Tomatoes buys their critics, but looking at the score from the critics, 80 reviews, 25%, which is not good. Now, does this necessarily mean that the movie is bad? No, it doesn't, because we know that critics have gone out and actually said that a movie was shit and then it turned out that the movie was actually pretty damn good. I mean, you know, just the wrong people, you know. I mean, I'm sure that Disney probably isn't really happy about Zack Snyder going out and making a Star Wars-esque movie. It doesn't matter if the movie is good or bad. They don't want this to succeed. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Zack Snyder. At all. Like, zero, zilch. Like, there are some things in his movies that I enjoy, that I like. I did enjoy 300, but beyond that, I didn't care for the Snyderverse. I, I just don't. I thought his uh, zombie movie was meh at best. I might get some shit for that, but. I'm just saying, looking at Rotten Tomatoes, 25% is not, of course, isn't a great score at all. It's also, you know, it, it doesn't mean that this is true, that this is really a horrific movie. It just means that the critics don't really care about it. But let's let, you know, usually audiences score are closer to what you will actually get. To, to an actual score and audience scores gives it a 72%. Now, that isn't great, but it's definitely not 25%. Now, that being said, if I click on this, I, I'm sorry, I can't read the first one, but here, half a star, unfortunately, the beautiful visual effects were not enough to make up for the utter lack of substance in the storytelling, which is something that Zack Snyder always struggles with. Unless he has a, a, a path to follow. That This is the story that you need to follow. If, if he's making up things on his own, he falls flat most of the time. And here, you know, full five stars. I thought it held great production value. The cinematography, bleh, I can't pronounce things, was beautifully shot. I was never bored with the story. In fact, I kept anticipating what was happening next. I can't wait for part two. I, again, I, not a language I can read. Uh, two stars. Whilst Snyder dazzles us with his visuals, incommoderable action sequences. The story is entirely too long and suffers from pacing issues. Also, some of the performance come, uh, performances come as a little flat. So you can see here another four and a half stars. Wait, did I say? Yeah, four and a half stars. I saw this tonight in London. Thanks for the free poster. I really enjoyed it, but it does heavily take influence from other sci-fi. Uh, that's what he said. It, it was supposed to be a Star Wars movie, his idea. Not entirely sure what to make of that. Again, I would like to make sure that you understand that critic scores don't actually mean this movie is going to be crap. The audience's scores doesn't necessarily reflect 
what it's actually going to be, but is definitely closer than the critic scores. That being said, when this movie was first announced, the first trailer, I actually thought, hey, this looks cool. I'm looking forward to this. And to be perfectly honest, I am desperate for a awesome Star Wars-esque sci-fi fantasy that I'm definitely going to be checking this out the moment it comes out on Netflix in one more day, right? Friday, tomorrow. I'm going to be checking it out. I'm going to be watching this movie because I want to know. I want it, but I also want it to be good. But it being from Zack Snyder, I don't know what to think. And the more information comes out, I'm not happy about it. Now, something that is also negative is Zack Snyder coming out and claiming that the director's cut is a completely different movie. It's like deja vu all over again. What? Over here on that park place, the new place where I'm going to be getting my articles from because apparently Bounding Into Comics is turning woke. The, I believe, founder even moved from there to here, as you can see, John F. Trent. So Zack Snyder already making excuses after Rebel Moon gets savaged by critics, says his director's cut is almost a completely different movie. To me, that sounds like a deja vu. It's like every time people aren't happy with his movies or movies that he's involved with, he comes out and says, you know what, I have a different cut. Like, oh, okay, really? At this point, you know, I don't want a four hour movie. I want a, a two hour movie. That, that's totally fine with me. I don't need more in a movie. If I want four hours, give me a show or a small series or something like that or a limited series. Don't give me a movie that I have to sit through for four freaking hours. I lose interest and I was bored when I tried to watch his movie. I didn't finish it. <laughs> and that's just the fact of the matter. In an interview with the Associated Press to promote the Netflix film, Snyder stated, in this case, I almost think the director's cut of Rebel Moon is an alternative reality version. It's almost like two. It's not an extended cut of this movie. It's almost like a different movie. It's almost a different universe than the R-rated cut lives in than this movie. All of my director's cuts existed as a response to things that were demanded of me to take out of the theatrical version, right? Where Rebel Moon, that demand was never really made. There was just this anticipation that we knew it would be a PG-13 movie. And I was like, well, in my heart of hearts, I always wanted it to be rated R. But you realize this sort of scale and cost of a movie like this. And you're like, okay, well, not 100% responsible to have that be the demand. Snyder added, but I'm a good partner in that sense. And this is the part where I actually think he's going at or he's putting the blame on Netflix if people don't like his movie. So I was like, well, what if, by the way, it was Netflix's idea. They were like, well, what if there was, what if we said, do whatever you want over here. Do the PG-13 version and then go nuts. We don't care. And that really was a thing I've never experienced before. It was bizarre. That's why it almost created, it almost split the universe. The dimensional rift happened when that was said out loud. Now these comments from Zack Snyder come after the critics gave him a horrible score on Rotten Tomatoes. Does this mean he's trying to make excuses for this? I don't know. It sounds like it. It sounds like he's also saying, hey, anything you don't like, it's on Netflix. 
not me. Kind of deflecting. Look, again, I'm not the biggest Zack Snyder fan. 300 was great. I liked some aspects of his DC movies, but, you know, other than that, I, I haven't been following him. The, the zombie movie wasn't great either. That being said, we will find out tomorrow. If you're watching this on Thursday, we'll be finding out tomorrow, which will be the second of, uh, 22nd of December. I will be watching it. I will be reviewing that. So definitely let me know. Are you looking forward to this movie or not? Let me know what you think Zack Snyder is doing here. And tomorrow, you know, we'll know more. That being said, before I let you go, I do want to make sure that you understand that I, I, I want to be changing up things on my channel, especially when I'm doing reviews. Like we went and reviewed every episode of The Witcher. Of course, Netflix goes and just drops everything at once. And, you know, I was like, OK, every day I'm going to make a video. I'm not going to be doing that in reviews moving forward. I might make a short of my initial thoughts after I've watched the movie tomorrow. But most likely I will take like a week to make my review and make it good. I want to do something good. I want something, you know, I want to make it a bigger quality production than what I have been doing. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you will definitely check it out. And if you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out the channel. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I'm making. It lets me know that I'm moving in the right direction. And comment down below. Even if you don't comment on this topic, if you don't comment on Zack Snyder's excuses for the movie, you can critique my videos. I like that if it's constructive critique. If you're just going to be out, uh, your nose looks funny. Uh, your hair is mess. Dude, get alive. I don't need you in the comments. Although, actually, you know what? Do comment those things down below as well. Anyway, I'm going to let you go by now. I've kept you long enough. Comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe. and Hit the bell for notifications because that way YouTube knows that you actually want to see my videos. All right. Until next time, take care.